Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps Updates Roundup number 66 and in this episode I'm gonna show you 11 new changes in 7 different Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with Google Photos as it got a huge update when it comes to the collage feature. So I'm gonna use those three photos as an example, create a collage, and the first thing you can do now is the ability to swap the photos by using the drag and the drop gesture. The second thing you can do is the ability to pinch to zoom and also rotate the photos the way you want. Change number three is the ability to tap on any of the photos and it will give you the option to edit or replace the shot. So for example, when I tap on edit, it will use the traditional editor that will allow you to do whatever you want in the shot and once you finish it will show you the done button here at the bottom right corner tapping on it will include the edited shot in your collage and it's also much easier to replace any of the photos at any time by tapping on it then replace choose the photo you want and you are done on top of this the number of styles added to the collages is tremendous so as you see here i'm getting much more styles to choose from and in some cases you might see the artist name that will appear for a few seconds and then disappear change number two is in memories if google photos added music to your memory like in my case here when you share it it will show you at the bottom left corner that you can include the music track in your memory when you share it with others which wasn't the case before and if you want to share the memory without music you still can do this by tapping on edit and here you will find a new toggle called share memory with music when you turn off the switch tap on done it will deactivate the feature change number three is in the partner sharing wizard on the right i have the s23 ultra that didn't get the new change and on the left i have the newer version and when i tap on share with partner as you see i'm getting totally different pages so let's take a look at the newer version it will first give you the option to choose the starting date and here you can choose between all time or since specific date after that you have the option to select what photos you want to share is it all photos or only photos containing selected people and in this case you will get everyone so you can select the people you want and you also have a plus sign over here to add more if you change your mind later and when you tap on next then tap on view photos it will show you all the photos that you are going to share with your partner just to make sure before sharing and then you need to tap on select partner and it will show you the list of contacts you have so you can choose the one you want and now it's time for today's sponsor if you are interested to purchase original windows 10 and office keys head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below then apply my special promo code id20 to get extra 25 percent discount windows 10 oem key will cost you 16.23 dollars which is very affordable to complete your purchase choose your preferred payment method input the details and once the payment is done you will be redirected to the orders screen to view your code click on the view keys slash codes button then click on get the key to activate your windows 10 oem key copy the code from the website head over to your windows settings then system scroll all the way down and click on about then product key and activation and finally click on a change paste the code in the text field and click on next then activate and now your original windows key got activated for more offers please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review next nearby share and a couple of days ago google released nearby share beta for windows and i created a separate video talking about the feature from a to z that you can find its link in the description below or over here at the top right corner but to briefly show you how it works when i try to send the photo now and then choose nearby share my pc will appear over here in the list as you see imads pc and that will allow me to immediately share whatever i want from my android phone to the pc which is one of the things i've been waiting for for so long so if you want to know more please check my other video next youtube music and the first change is in the music sections at the top when you go to any of them you will notice two things first it got a new background and also all of them will start with the mixed for you section so if you take a look here when i move between them I'm getting a new background and the same mixed for you section on all of them change number two is in the explore tab now you will see much bigger numbers in the top songs and trending songs sections change number three is in the now playing screen when you tap on the ellipses now you will find a new option called view song credits which will give you more information about the song next 
The wallpaper and the style app on Pixel phones got some new wallpapers in multiple categories. So let me show you some examples. Under life, this is one of the new wallpapers I noticed. And there is one here under cityscapes. One more under textures. And I'm not sure if there are even more in other categories, but you can explore and enjoy those new wallpapers. Now let's talk about the Pixel Watch and there are two new changes. The first one is the new complications for Keep Notes. Now when you tap on Edit and then go to the complications, you will see here at the top of the list two new complications. One to immediately add a list from your watch and the second one is to add a note. So now I added the Add List option and when I tap on it, it will simply start uh, the list and ask me if I want to use the mic or the keyboard. So let's try the keyboard and type test, take sign, and now it's creating the list. And as you see, I have the first item over here. Change number two is the ability to activate the battery saver option using a single tap. When you do it for the first time, it will explain how the feature works with the ability to choose don't show this again and then tap the tick sign. And by this, the battery saver option can be activated immediately. But before tapping on the tile will take you to the, to the battery saver settings. But now it simply activates the feature. And if you want to go to your battery settings, you can tap and hold on the tile and it will do the same thing as before. This is actually part of Marsha update for the Pixel Watch, but at first the feature didn't work, but after giving it some time, now I have the ability to use it. And finally, the safety app on Pixel phones got material use support. As you see, everything now looks different with rounded corners. At the top, you have two tiles, one for emergency sharing and one for calling the emergency services. After that, if you have any issues, it will show you a warning to take an action. Then you have the safety check feature, which is actually asking for the same thing to add the emergency contacts. And then you have another page called features and this one will show you the full list of features. But on top of this, you will also get any warnings to fix any issues you have. And lastly, you have the your info page where you can add your medical information. You can add your emergency contacts, allow access to emergency info and so on and so forth. And if you want to check any demo, all of them are consolidated together under the same page. So it looks much better and less confusing than before. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new features so I can include in my future episodes. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.